Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in the Word. I am so glad you're with me this morning to spend just a few moments in God's Word. I want to ask you a question. Are you thankful? No, it's not Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, there's only 176 days left until Thanksgiving. But you know, I wake up every day and I'm thankful. What are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? I know it's easy for me to wake up and thank God for my possessions, my stuff. Uh, it's easy for me to wake up and thank God for my accomplishments, my achievements, uh, my experiences. It, it's easy for me to wake up in the morning, especially on those mornings when I get up and put my running shoes on and go running. Uh, it's easy for me to to wake up and thank God for my health, you know, for, for exercise and for feeling good. Uh, and those are all good things, and we should be thankful for those things. But I think so many times... Uh, we limit our thankfulness to possessions, to stuff, to accomplishments, to health. Um, there's more to be thankful for. As a matter of fact, I'm thankful for faith. I'm thankful for the faith that God has given me, uh, the faith that God continues to grow uh, in me and through me and for me. And I'm thankful for the faith of my family members and the faith of my friends around me and the faith of my church family. That's something to be thankful for too, each and every day, faith. Listen to what Paul says in Colossians chapter one, beginning in verse three. He says, we always thank God, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all God's people. The faith and love that spring from the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. You know, this morning, uh, I thanked God. I thanked God for the possessions, the stuff. I thank God for the accomplishments, the achievements. I thank God for my health and the health of my family and my friends. And, you know, I, I thank God for faith. I thank God for the opportunity to dig into his word and to learn and understand and grow. I thank God for his love. But I also took the time this morning, especially after reading this passage, to thank God for the faith of my family members and the faith of my friends who encourage me and hold me accountable. I, this morning, I thanked God for my fellowship family, my church. I thank God for the faith that my church not only possesses, but the faith that my church family practices, that the faith that they exercise in our community and in our world. I just thank God for faith today. I thank God for those who possess faith and practice faith and encourage me with it, hold me accountable with it, help me grow with it. Uh, what an awesome passage of scripture this morning. I hope it helps you. I hope it opens your eyes and opens your heart uh, to all the things that we should be thankful for to God. And we should give him praise for it. We should give him glory for it. Uh, and you know, this morning I told you that there's only 176 days left until Thanksgiving. Why wait till Thanksgiving to be thankful? Be thankful every day. And since I've told you that there's only 176 days left until Thanksgiving. I may as well go ahead and tell you there's only 203 days left until Christmas. Man, I'm excited. I'm ready. I've been watching Christmas movies and listening to Christmas music since about, well, since last Christmas. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope today not only you are thankful, but you live thankfully and maybe tell others just how thankful you are for them and for the faith that they possess and the faith that they practice. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for spending time with me this morning. Wednesday in the Word. I look forward to being with you next Wednesday, if it's the Lord's will.